morning. My name is Jody Augustiniak. I work for Philips Ambulatory Virtual Care. I'm here to talk to you today about the power of partnerships and how we built our partnership ecosystem. I'm really proud to be a part of the Philips family for several reasons, but I wanted to highlight one of the main reasons I'm really proud to be part of Philips. We have a really simple, focused, yet powerful vision and mission statement. And that is to improve people's lives through meaningful innovation. We have a big goal to improve 2.5 billion lives per year by 2030. And as a technology company, we believe that we want to innovate for people with one consistent belief. And that is to make people's lives better. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we're all here for? My particular team at Philips is focused on condition management. We are working to improve the lives of people that have chronic conditions, and we're working to improve the lives of the providers, the payers, the caregivers that support those patients. I'm not gonna read these numbers up on the screen. You're at this health conference, you know these numbers. We're all familiar with them, and we're all here because we're trying to drive these numbers down. And we all believe that we can innovate with technology to do that. We know that remote patient care is making a difference. It's changing the way we approach care. It's proven. We've known that by providing devices, data, making that actionable data, giving it to the providers, giving it to the health plans, the caregivers, we can keep people at home, out of the hospital, out of the ER, if they do have to be admitted, shorter hospital stays, we're finding that we're able to provide better preventive care virtually. And that's exactly what we're doing at Philips. So our Philips Virtual Care Management Program is a full service solution. We deploy devices, these are connected devices, glucometers, blood pressure cuffs, scales, pulse oximeters, the patients use those devices in the comfort of their homes. The data is then shared with their providers, their caregivers, and can also be shared with our Philips clinical team, which acts as an extension to the provider. And we can then react and intervene with those patients as needed. We can provide education, support, behavior change coaching, all while helping to make those patients' lives better. Another thing that we do is we are a strategic collaborator. I'm sure you all are as well. You're listening to what your clients have to say, what their pain points are. And what we do is we take that feedback and we build it into our strategic roadmap. And one thing we found is that a strong strategic roadmap relies on strong strategic partners. Like I said, we listen to our customers. We hear their pain points, reimbursement challenges, budget constraints, formulary restrictions, gaps in care challenges. We listen to the patients. They have concerns because they're confused about their care plan. They're frustrated because they can't get answers to simple questions. So we take that information and we really say, wow, can we solve all these problems, problems ourselves? No, we can't, right? We can't solve all the world's problems, no one can but we recognize that we can identify key strategic partners that can help us do that. And that's exactly what we've been doing. We've identified that partners can lead to mutual success, which is a win-win for not only the patients, the providers, Philips and our partner, but the healthcare system in general. We can reduce fragmentation. We can make participants' lives easier. And my favorite is we can leverage our partner's expertise. We can't claim to know it all, we don't have the resources to do it all. So let's gain some, gain some efficiencies and make sure that we can stay focused on what we need to do, what we need to accomplish, and let our partners help us with where we can. So I've had the pleasure over the last year of building out our partnership ecosystem. This has been my baby, my project over the last year, and I've really enjoyed doing that. I've met some great partners along the way. So, a couple of partnerships that we executed over the last year are co-marketing and co-selling partnerships. 
these are opportunities where we've said, you know, their product, their solution is very complementary to ours. There's a lot of synergies in what we can do together. And if we can break down those silos and work together, it's a win-win for the patient. We've also identified some resellers. So building out those channel partnerships, not only does that open doors for us that maybe we wouldn't have the opportunity to open, but it also allows us to support that reseller, support that channel partner with maybe a gap that they had in their solution. And finally, strategic suppliers. So like I said, we can't do it all. We don't have the bandwidth, we don't have the expertise to solve all the problems. So let's go out there and find a partner that, we can, that can do that for us and plug them into our solution. Drives efficiency, drives growth. I wanted to highlight a couple of our key strategic partners today. The first one is Movin Health. So if you're not familiar with Movin, Movin offers a virtual cardiac rehab program. The first time we met Movin, we realized right out of the gate, we have so much in common. Not only do we have similar programs that are leveraging the same connected devices, but we also have similar implementation styles, similar billing models, similar call points. So we've been working with them for about the last year. What we've identified is that as patients are prescribed cardiac rehab, especially for patients that maybe have transportation issues, maybe have to work and can't leave work to actually go to a brick and mortar for cardiac rehab, they can do this virtually through Move-In. They get a connected blood pressure cuff, they receive a connected scale, and they use those devices throughout their 12-week virtual cardiac rehab program. But once that's pro that program is over, they still need to be monitored. They're still at risk for another heart attack. They still have issues with heart failure. So it makes sense for those patients to just streamline right into our program for longer-term monitoring and outreach, if needed, post their cardiac rehab. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from clients on our integrated approach and really complimentary offerings. Another strategic supplier for us is Validic. So as we were collecting that client feedback, we were learning that some participants may be hesitant to join our program because they've had a glucometer that they know, they trust, they love. They don't want to use ours. We also heard that there's formulary issues may not have the budget to purchase a new connected glucometer. They want to use the one that patients already have in their hands. So we recognized we needed to be more device agnostic. And that's when we came across Validic. So Validic has already done the heavy lifting, connecting all of these connected devices and wearables into their platform. And then they can push that data to our system so that it doesn't matter if a patient has our device or another one that they picked up at the pharmacy they can still use that device and still receive the same coaching, the same care, the same support that we would provide them if they had our device. So what we're calling that is our bring your own approved device approach, BYOD. These are just a couple of examples of partnerships that we've entered into over the last year. I really just wanted to say that, you know, I started this tech talk talking about how we want to make patients' lives better. That is the goal. That is the ultimate goal. We also want to make providers' lives better. But we also have to think about ourselves as innovators, right? And so if we're able to leverage a partnership to help streamline efficiencies, uh, responsibilities, products, solutions, we can also create a culture of support and opportunity within this industry, which I think is really what we are all here for today. Thank you very much.